massive fire struck this locality and I'm standing right at the spot where the incident occurred yesterday evening which took the lives of two uh, innocent uh, minors one was of a four-year-old and another of a six-year-old a male and a female and right now the mother is in a situation of uh, trauma she's traumatized if the families are yet to cope up with the loss of their children and I'm going to uh, speak to an eyewitness who was here when the incident occurred yesterday evening uh, ma'am firstly if you can introduce yourself myself Sanya Singh if you can tell me what exactly happened and around what time did this fire around start? three uh, six thirty five I think so I came home at that time only I heard that it's firing okay and yeah. this fire uh, like couldn't this have been avoided the children could have been taken out or what exactly how did mm. it all start no the fire was mother out of control the fire was out of control so nobody could come out stairs everyone they fire just ran away from me okay and where was the mother and father of the children father he was on duty and mother she was just taking water from downstairs okay so uh, according to reports we're hearing that it was a short circuit could have it been possible maybe the mother had left the uh, you know the uh, something on the gas on the stove cooking something we don't know exactly about that because the house was locked so we can't see about that anything Okay. So when the mother had realized that there was a fire that had uh, taken place upstairs, what after that what happened? There was no way to call anybody. Or no, rush? there was no way, and plus everyone they were busy just in shooting as mm. a live shooting, and we were just crying because our house is also here only. We were just crying. We called the fire brigade and all. What exactly happened? As you can see right behind me, these are the remnants, uh, the debris that are just lying around. Everything we can see, this was a massive fire which had erupted yesterday evening. Yesterday, can you tell us uh, when the fire took place, when you got to know, what did you do immediately? Immediately, like I, when I reached here, then I've seen that the fire was burning very, um, like it's very high. Then I, just, I was uh, like very nervous. So that, so that time, like I realized that my mom and dad is old. So I just came and I just took my mom and dad like uh, to safe place. Auntie, tell me, when was it? Was it in the house or where was it? No, it was water. 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 It was तो आप लोग तुरंत क्या किया था जब आपको पता चल गया कि आग लग गया तो हम लोग तो घर छोड़ के भाग गए चला गया उधर हम उधर चला गए दुकान में लड़का के the small alley or the small the narrow lanes leading to the house has resulted to the delay in dousing the flames however as much as they could the fire services and the police department have done their job and within two hours they've been able to douse the flames but what has left behind is a broken uh, souls of families uh, the mother of the two children is yet to come to terms with the loss of her two children. Now, remember uh, the mother known as Mamata. Uh, she's lost uh, two, chil uh, two children. She, she has, she's a mother of three. Luckily, one of the child was in her arms while she was filling water. Now, tenants of the building have complained that it's such a challenge because earlier the tenants on the third floor were able uh, to get water, but this time they had to go all the way down to the ground floor to fill up their buckets and carry all the way to the top floor. Now, it was too late till they realized when the, there were two children who were stuck on uh, the top floor. And by the time they had realized, it was then that the first cylinder had a uh, blast. And that was when panic erupted and many of the people rushed and tried to flee from the area to save their lives. And um, what's sad to know is that uh, these two children were just being uh, at, uh, taken. Uh, the mother was looking forward to admit her uh, admit her children to school. It was this year itself that they, uh, they were planning to go to school. But unfortunately, this mishap has struck the family and uh, yet come to terms. Uh, also, the chief minister has confirmed that, uh, you know, compensation will be given to the families of uh, the uh, who has uh, witness or gone through uh, this tragic incident. This is Princess Rashir for eastmojo.com in Shillong.
don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.